what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Town in the Pit. Today, we've got that magnificent, wonderful, versatile Boy Adams. He's going to do the full ball review on the Hustle BRY. The Y does not mean yellow. Yale yeah, blue. Yeah, that makes sense for the grip. Okay, so. Quinn finally has 500 games on his bowling ball. This is his uh, benchmark piece. This is the one ball he loves to throw no matter where he goes, no matter what the condition is. So this has got his most games on Okay. Camera raw is better in my opinion. But Quinn really likes the rotor grip hustle, the BRY. The hustle line has been a staple forever. So when they came out with a new version, we had to do a review on one of them just to give you guys a look at what the difference is from the older models to the newer ones, and Quentin has owned most of them. So even though this is his first attempt two-handed, you can still see the same type of shape, same type of controllability. So what Quentin's gonna do, he's going to start second arrow, because that's the way I am. Everybody plays up 10, a lot of people play up 10. Even though he is a two-hander, I'm gonna force him to throw it there no matter what. And then he's gonna work his way across, he's not gonna stick around in the middle too much because of his speed and rev rate, he's going to move pretty much right to right across and not hang out too much. Right? You all might be able to do it. Oh, I might. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, hit the subscribe button. If you're shy, hit it. Come on, green duckies. Facts. You don't wear this stuff for any reason, guys. Wow, it's cool. Oh, same. <laughs> Flatter release. Uh -oh. It's capable, I'll, I'll tell you that. Yeah, we're not focus too much on that. No, that's not where I play at all. As you leave makeable spares. Okay, so that's 20. Um, break to 25. It's a good ball. Flat of release still. Uh, speed is up a little bit. What a good ball. That's, we're gonna go right to it. Being newer at two handing the ball, it, this ball is so good. 30. Exercise. Makes sense. Um, very manipulatable. Is that a word? You can manipulate this ball a lot, I can tell you that. Um, it typically keeps its same round shape though. It's not going to get hard on the back end. It's always going to be continuous. I, 
Guys, I love this ball. I always have. Obviously, this is the new version, but muscle line's always been good. Teaching bad habits. We don't hook at our spares. We go straight at them, right? This is a house shot, sir. Teaching bad habits. Um. Like I said, very round shape. Um, I got the hustle or the not the hustle, the raw camera raw after this, the hybrid. And there's there is a difference. Um, so I'm gonna stand there and eat them. High flush. This ball gives me a lot of area to play. It reads off the dry if, it, if you get outside. If you get it in the oil, it floats. It's very forgiving. All you do is come through the ball and you're good. Uh, 35. Talk about making the ball look good. Uh, the ball's making you look good. Hey! Yes, I missed my mark like five boards every shot we get. <laughs> yeah, so, as we said, I think, I have over 100 games on this ball. This is my go-to ball. Um, especially if I'm struggling with a different ball. I know what this ball is going to give me. I know it's going to be forgiving. It's going to be round. I don't leave many splits with it. Now you say that. Yeah, right? Uh, 40. bit it's a symmetrical it's coming back it's continuing through the pins like you can tell I like this ball by other reviews I'm not I guess as hype about but this is a good ball so all that being said I'm gonna try 20 again standing 20 for a win Manipulate this ball a lot. I said that already, but that was flat, flat, and um. Typical house shot. Where do I play it? When do I play it? Ideally, this is like third game ball or after. But being me, uh, do it two-handed. I throw this ball to start, to finish. That was bad ball. Uh, talk too much. It's ideally it is for the third game or after. Um good ball. Good ball. Good ball. Good ball. Good ball. Hey, one more time. Good ball. Uh oh. Okay. Throw me a strike. Good ball. No, sorry. Great ball. No. <laughs> Astonishing. Fantastic. The ball of the year. <laughs> two-handed carry and scoring carry, this is why I like this ball so much. 
You tell me every time you leave something that it's not a storm. That's why there's no storm carry. Great. And I've only not struck twice with this ball. So three, three times? times? Get out right side of the headset. Mr. Cobb. Um, where I typically stand with this ball on a house shot. Uh, it depends if I want to play straighter or not. Um, like I said, you can manipulate it a lot. You can control the shape. Typically, I'm like 32. Yeah. Still gotta come through it, like I said. It's not gonna strike all the time. You gotta do your part, though. You definitely did not do your part. No. No, sure. Given the conditions right now, I would say right around 30 is where you want to play. I didn't wipe the oil off. Oh, is that what we're going with? I was just going to ask where the storm carrying was. I didn't do my part. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so one area I haven't struck with yet. Going up time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a gun showing off. We're good. Most time he did a good good video too, man. Most time. I can't do this with any other ball. Raw, I think you could. Huh? By showing what the, the yellow in the ball is. People are just colorblind, they can't see it. Sure. <laughs> Roto Grip Hustle. BRY, yeah. burgundy red and yellow blue. Yellow blue. Yay. I'm not even going to ask him any questions because it's just a would I get this ball again? Yes. Would I recommend this ball? Yes. How many games did you have on the ball? Over a hundred. Okay. Well over a hundred. Was it worth your initial investment? Absolutely. If you had to buy another one to fill that hybrid symmetrical spot in your arsenal towards you. A dog. If somebody comes in, they only buy one bowling ball a year. See, that's an iffy question. It depends on what kind of bowl you are. This is a low end ball. Um, I mean, all right. So, being the way I do it, yes, absolutely. Okay. So, let's be honest and say, for the lower end pieces that come out every year, there's only two, in my opinion, that are worth any money. Three. Two. And I mean lines. So, the Hustle line from Roto Grip is phenomenal. It's one of the one staples that has the best performance for light oil conditions. Now, they have one competitor, and that is the Motive Thrill. The Motive Thrill is the same thing. Very high expectations and high performance on light oil conditions. Those are the best two, in my opinion, for light oil conditions. Right. So we can't call it entry level. Correct, we can't. Not even the hustle. The, the, the hustle is right. not entry level either, in my no. opinion. So, those two are the ones that I always recommend, no matter what brand you fall in, don't care. If, if you aren't brand oil, you should have a hustle or a thrill in your bag, in my opinion. But don't care which one, they're both really good. I think this is where Brunswick is slack. A little bit. I don't see Brunswick with this entry level or 
until this year hasn't had a really good dry or dry lane low dollar price point fall i still think the fireball from ebonite is really really good but it's still at a that's higher strong. price point that's strong i understand that but you can you can drill it to where you want to that would be the closest thing at, that brunswick has to the entry level ball of this caliber but they don't Besides the ball, yeah, the ball's stupid strong. Punches way above its weight class. You don't think so? Tell me the same ball that you drilled to compare this with the same layout. Is it more? It's more. Is it as forgiving? No. This is what I'm talking about. So, Abonite's fireball is a little bit more forgiving than the, uh, the, the hammer ball. Okay? The thrill, hustle, and if you are a Brunswick guy, I guess you're going to throw a fireball, but... I'd rather throw a hustle or a throw. And I'm not a storm guy. That's, yeah, we saved that for more. Drink Kool-Aid up here. I love this. The hustle line's always good. I won't shit out. I won't let anybody shit out. But now, I want you to tell me, because you've owned the other ones. Is this really worth the upgrade if you already owned one? Is this really worth the dollars to go get another one? Just because it's a newer model? If you're looking for a different surface, I would say so. Because I have the Hustle Rip, Rap? I think it was Rap. Hustle Rap. That was a solid. Um, no, that was a pearl. And I sanded it. Um, but you turned it into a hybrid. Right. But I would, yeah, I would say yeah. Okay. That's the only thing I was worried about. Is if it's worth someone buying another a brand new model. I think so. Okay. Keep it, keep it fresh. Okay. I mean, it's a low end, not low end, it's a low price point ball. So, like, you're really not wasting too much, especially if you're in a pinch or something. Like, there's not many great. balls on the market at the $115, $119 price point that can give you what this ball is giving you. Same with the throw. It's needed. Correct. Back. Correct. You guys all saw Joey's fresh off the press with the throws the other night. I mean, great house shot ball, in my opinion. But anyway. So that'd be our take on the Hustle BRY. If you don't have one in your bag, get one in your bag. Great, great light oil conditioned bowl ball. I would put it right up there with the motor thrill. I, they're both very controllable, manipulative. Yeah, never mind. All right. So, jerseys, we both agree on this too. Bowl five. Best jerseys in the game. If you don't have one on your bag, you probably should go get one. Why? Because he's up here sweating. Oh, yeah. And it's wicking it right away. It's doing his job. It's almost as dependable as the hustle. Almost. I'd say it's more than that. I just agreed with you that it was the best ball you'll ever have. No, there's two. It's right there. You can't do that. I'm sorry. I'll let me have that problem. See y'all next time. Oh, look.